everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my weekly show about great products from small companies. Now today we're gonna look at a couple of products from a company called Gamergrass. Now Gamergrass is a small cottage industry company from Spain, um, and what they make is clump foliage. So uh, little dots of grass, flowers, bushes, all kinds of stuff that you can use to decorate bases. Now, if you ever used this stuff before, there's a few companies that make these. Um, they're a really great, fast way to put some cool detail on, and typically the ones that you see on the mass market are all just grass stuff, it's different colors of grass. So grass standing up in the air, um, long grass, reeds, that kind of stuff. What Gamer Grass has um, is some flowers, bushes, and shrubs as well. So some sort of interesting color to add to some stuff. Now I've used three different kinds of it on a project I'm currently working on, they get to see. This will actually give you a, um, if you've seen yesterday's Witches Wonders, this will give you a probably better up close look at some of the stuff from that video. Uh, and it's got, um, a series of flowers and some large grass tufts. Now there are a bunch of other ones that they actually sent me to show off, uh, and we'll take a look at those too. So this is Gamer Grass, grass tufts um, for using on your bases, movement trays, and dioramas, project scenery, whatever. So here's a selection of the auto adhesive tufts from Gamer Grass. Now there are four types of flower or shrubbery and six types of long grass here for you guys to check out. Um, you can see some of these are a bit pilfered, that's because I've used some, and I'll show you them on some models shortly, uh, so you can see what it looks like decorating some bases. But what we have is different themes for different stuff. So here we have some snowy grass. So this right here, um, bottom right, would look like uh, the tufts that you would see in um, uh, a freshly fallen snow. So the snow's not too deep yet, but it's sort of mounded enough that it's covering the base of the grass and the grass is kind of peeking through. Or the snow is melting, uh, which is kind of neat. Here we have some kind of scorched grass. This could be during the fall or the summer or the spring. Um, it's got a variety of yellows and the base is actually a little bit brown. Uh, so when you look at it closely, you can see that there's sort of like a dark brown color in there too. Let that focus for a second. Um, we've got some long grass tufts over here. Uh, which is a nice sort of bright vibrant green. We have some uh, sort of darker verdant green grass tufts. They're fairly standard. Uh, and then we've got this selection of flowers. I think this is my favorite. We have bushes and then pink, yellow, and white flowers um, that could be used for a variety of things. I'm really excited to actually use some of these for Bushido. I think there's kind of a cool cherry blossom thing going on over here. I have used them um, in the project you're about to see as well. We have some long grass tufts in a sort of sort of medium green that I've used in this project too. And then some very dark scrubby grass. You could use that in sort of a tundra look or waste. I think I would mix these two ones on either end together probably um, with some of these snow ones if I was gonna do a almost chaos wasty sort of a look. Uh, and they are self-adhesive. So you can put them down just with the uh, stickiness that's holding to the paper right now, the wax paper. Uh, but uh, if you want them to stay down, just some PVA glue, a dot of PVA glue on the back. That's done with what you'll see in the future. And, and it'll stay down pretty much forever. It's fairly permanent. So if you wanna check them out, they have this and lots more at www.gamergrass.com. This is all homemade. You can see here, it's all been attached to wax paper um, and it is available as of right now. So some really nice, uh, sort of like very bright, vibrant uh, selection of different types of grass. Typically, so the mass market stuff, like the GW stuff, there's only like three or four different kinds. This, there's really something for everything. So no matter what your theme is, I think you'll be able to check out um, a, a type of tuff that would work for you. So let's take a look at it in action on some products I'm working on right now. So here they are at work on some movement trays I've been making for Kings of War. So um, you have seen yesterday the progress I've been making on these and actually some of these you may, I'm actually filming this before I film my, my what's on the painting table for this week. So there'll actually be more of this finished when you see uh, yesterday's video than when you see today's video. Um, but what I did in advance was I prepared all my movement trays, uh, created some rocks, and then I used the tufts to actually give them some splashes of color. So I used some of the um, pink and red flowers, some of the sort of pale tufts of grass, long tufts of grass, and some of the white flowers as well, uh, just to finish these. And I really think it makes it look sharp. The, the, the idea here was it was a very, I had very dark colored ogres. Like my ogre army is very sort of like um, brooding looking and I wanted to have them pop off their movement trays. So here I'm gonna zoom in for you a little bit. You can see here, um, I gave them very bright and vibrant things. I learned this actually from an old game uh, called Confrontation by Rackham. They would do the most vibrant terrain in tables. Their tables were always super bright and it meant that the models popped off it beautifully. So um, these tufts, I think, accent that like just dramatic sort of difference between the models and how dark and sort of vicious they look uh, and the terrain they're standing on. So I'm super excited with these. Um, the, the splash of color is just fantastic looking and I think it adds a lot to the army overall because you've got these big hulking dark 
iron, sort of like, you know, oiled iron carrying um, monsters charging across this sort of beautiful verdant pasture. <laughs> It's just going to be super neat. So you'll see this. Uh, you can go back. If you haven't watched yesterday's on the painting table, um, you can click a link uh, on my main page. It should be on my front page still for YouTube uh, and check it out. And if you just go to the on the paint table, this is going to be for the week of the 20. Today is the 25th. So it's 26, 27, 28th. It'll be 28th of May uh, in uh, 2016. So if you're seeing this way far in the future, you can go check them out there. Uh, so it is, there's some projects I'm working on right now at the Gamer Grass and it is, sorry, Gamers Grass. Um, and it is super nice. I think it adds a lot to the project overall. So I hope you enjoyed that look at the handmade grass tufts by Gamers Grass out of Spain. Um, there will be links in the video description below. So if you want to go peruse, check it out and maybe find the next cool sort of accessory for your basing for your next project, um, you can just click right there and have a look. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, we will see you next week for another Witches Wonders. Now, if you know of a great product from a small company and think it isn't getting enough attention, you can have them email me at girlmitchgames.gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement of the streets. Um, and I will do my best to get in touch. Now, we'll see you next week for another Witches Wonders. Until I'm Ash, I'm Morgan.